Hey guys, welcome back to my last video here in my um, my uh, Ford Manager VPN Community uh, Hub and Spoke video. My name is Devin Adams. I'm an instructor here at uh, Dynamic Rural Light Training Consultants located in Tempe, Arizona. And I make these videos for the people who have taken my class. And in the last two videos, we got our Hub and Spoke topology up and running. All right, We wrote the firewall policies to allow traffic from the hub out to the spokes and to the spokes to the hub, but not spoke to spoke. And let's just say for a moment that we have the goal to make that happen. All right, there's just an additional firewall rule that you have to do to allow that to happen. All right, and it actually happens on the hub. So let's go ahead and do that and go forward and wrap this up. So, anyways, so uh, to to get our branch offices to be able to talk directly to each other, okay. We're going to have to write a firewall policy on our local FortiGate to allow that to happen. All right, so let's go to our PC1, and here is our device manager. Okay, and if you noticed, if we go to our VPN manager and we go to monitor, all of our tunnels are up. So, bling. Okay, so everything is good. I didn't test that in the last video, by the way, for our data center. So, I wonder if I could come here and get to that web server in my, my topology map using the private IP address instead of the VIP that I did in the previous video. So that's kind of like my goal here. So uh, let's take a look. So 10.10.10, .10 but we're going to say 40.10. And uh, there it is. So our VPN tunnel is pushing down and uh, being able to access resources from the data center using IPsec. So Phew, good times. All right. But what about our branch offices to our branch offices or our branch offices to that data center? So, well, uh, let's go ahead and do that. Are you guys ready? So we're going to go to our VPN manager. We're going to go to our policy and objects. And on our hub and HQ, we're going to write one more additional firewall policy. And this policy is going to say uh, spoke to spoke all right and our incoming is going to be anything coming in from our hub and spoke and you guessed it our hub and spoke so oh, i wonder why that one didn't grab here we go hub and spoke okay these are vpn zones so all the ipsec logical tunnels have been dropped into those zones and the vpn manager did all that for us so and this is where it gets clever so we're going to say for our source address we're going to use that summation address going to our summation address okay and depending on what access you want where you can be more granular with this depending on like specific subnets so if we want to protect one subnet from the other I mean you could I'm just doing this for simplicity reasons alright but I'm gonna say accept and now that should be enough to get the branch offices at least talking to each other so um, should we try it I think we should. So let's do this. So uh, for starters, we got to push that down. All right. So there we go. I'm going to right click and say reinstall policy. Hopefully it doesn't error out. <laughs> nah, it won't. Maybe it will. I don't know. Just talking to myself. There we go. No errors. Kind of a nice little provisionary buffer there. So now it's pushing it down to the real FortiGates itself. And now that that firewall rule is there, in theory, we should be able to have the branch offices talk to each other. So, all right, here we go. So let's go ahead and try this out. So in GNS3 specifically, I'm just using the, the, the VPCs, so the virtual PCs. That's just pretty much a command prompt, and I'm able to ping. So, But before, we didn't have access to that subnet and now we do so this is on the 10.10.2 or 20 network and now I can talk to branch to branch all right so and same with here if I hit up there we go in the other direction so they can now pass traffic all right and then here's the big test can this guy get to the web server bum 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 Let's, let's take a look. So using the, the private IP address instead of our, our VIP. So we'll go to 
10 and there it is so guys it's working uh, and that is it so we just did one more additional firewall rule to let the branches talk to each other and in real life if you wanted more granularity and more you know restrictions you can um, I was just showing you though that it's all done through the the, uh, the VPN manager so and once again if you add that metadata in there I mean come on <laughs> just show off right I mean I'd want to show off just go over to your map view and you can actually see the traffic and the up tunnels I mean that's that's pretty darn cool guys I don't care what you say see and traffic's passing between them it even shows you what direction has the most bandwidth utilization I mean that's just crazy so um, crazy cool I mean so so hopefully someone out there found that helpful um, before my I have I have 10 more days until the expiration of these things so I'm just gonna see how much I can push out of this NSC 5 so I hope you guys don't mind uh, but in my next video now that we have IPsec tunnels that are protecting everything why don't we get this Forta analyzer to start doing something so we're gonna start collecting logs through the Forta analyzer using those IPsec tunnels and really start taking advantage of our our reporting tools and things like that so but uh, hopefully someone out there found that helpful if not I'm sorry for wasting your time and I'll see you guys next time to do a little Ford analyzing so alright take care